This morning, as University of Idaho students return to campus and prepare for classes to begin later this week. I breathe a sigh of relief. I'm pretty sure that my mom did the same thing. Students and parents alike say they feel a sense of security now that police have a suspect in custody for November's killing of four students at this off-campus house. There is security a lot of places, so I felt comfortable just walking around here. As students unpack personal belongings, the school is also promising new security measures, including more officers on campus and increased police patrols in neighborhoods near the university. Less than 30 minutes away, Washington State University students are remembering the classmate now under arrest for the brutal murders, telling the Idaho Statesman newspaper that the criminology student often spoke up during classroom discussions of murder investigations. But when the topic of the Idaho slangs arose, one student recalling, he was completely silent. An affidavit laying out details of the crime scene reveals the suspect, 28-year-old Brian Koberger, was on investigators' radar as early as November 29th, 16 days after the students were brutally stabbed to death. According to the affidavit, one of the surviving roommates was awake at the time of the murders, telling police the killer came within feet of her bedroom door as he exited the house. But police say no one called 911 for another eight hours. Investigators say two survivors are not suspected of any wrongdoing, and there's still no word on a motive. One student returning to campus said even with an arrest in the case, he'll be staying in groups to prioritize safety. Christy Aletto, ABC News, New York.